Welcome to Season 4 Snails of Lava, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly power up and I'm going to show you how to put your hand on Epic Gear and Rare Gear in Day 1. You've heard that, right? We have a few different locations and a few different vendors that will allow us to put our hand on some amazing gear. At least much better gear than we can currently get from just playing the game. This video is brought to you by Dragon Air Silent God, so I just want to say a big thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are new around here, new on the channel, and you haven't tried Dragon Air Silent Gods, or you want to help and support me, help and support the channel, you can download the game by using my link in the description down below, or in the pinned comment, or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. But without further ado, guys, how can we get rare and epic gear? So I marked the locations on the map. So I'm going to take you for a drive around all of the locations and show you where you need to go. So right here at Dragon Seri, basically, uh, if I remember it correctly from here, we can get rare gear. Now, I've done a very similar video in, uh, uh, in the past, in the last season. So right here, uh, you're going to have to go at the market, at the vendors. And this merchant, some of them uh, will trade it. Some, uh, some of them... Uh, uh, basically we'll have it on the on the steel side right here so you're going to be able to steal the gear from them but if i remember it correctly he's actually selling the gear so we have uh, five pieces uh of rare items from each one of them so basically 20 pieces of rare gear at a decent price 5000 the helmets are more expensive uh, i wish they would add a feature where you can just buy in bulk basically so you can just have a slide and i want to buy all five of them rather than just constantly clicking on a uh, on them that would be a nice QOL thing uh, for the game uh, devs with all of the things in the in the shop similar with this you know would be nice to have the same uh, the same option for the gear too i know you only have to do it once a season <laughs> but would be nice to uh, to have it there right now my gear is is nowhere to be found guys this is day 1 in season 4 and then uh, I definitely need to put my hand on better gear. This will allow me to progress faster in every single dungeon, in the Goblin Slayer especially, in the domains, so it will be very, very important. That's why you should all try to basically put your hand on the, on the gear ASAP. So you will be able to get quite, quite, a, bit, uh, uh, quite a bit of rare gear. Um, epic gear, you're only going to be able to get a couple of sets if I'm not mistaken. So we have one more helmet to purchase from here. Let me just quickly show you how advanced I am in Season 1, guys, okay? I'm literally at the top, at the top of Season 1. I'm just messing with you. I'm actually not. So there we go. This is the only thing that we have unlocked right here. Uh, we only managed to do two, uh, two of these, two, uh, two, two locations. Uh, we're not going to be able to unlock this dungeon probably for uh, the next two Two, three days, I would say. So in the meantime, uh, you want to farm the goblin. You want to farm the domains. Just to basically level up a bit your, uh, your characters. Uh, this is what I have so far. This is the gear that I have on, you know. So I do have two pieces of rare gear already that the game gives you. But that's about it, you know. So all this gear will be a massive upgrade. Like getting all of these pieces, you know. Even if they're flat stats. So flat stats will be more uh, important. All the way up to level 70. After level 70, that's when percentage uh, mains will be more important on uh, the chest piece and the gloves. Of course, on the gloves, you prefer to uh, get crit damage or crit rate. If you're lucky... Oh, beautiful. We just got a god, uh, a god roll. Another awesome one right there. A flat one. I will level up the flat one too. I'll be very honest with you guys. Most probably. So this is one location right here. Then heading over to the uh, Goldborn farm, uh, we should be able to get some more rare gear from here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me just quickly pick up this chest before we're going to head over to the vendor. I think, uh, I think he's uh, a vendor that sells it rather than uh, us having to steal it from, uh, from this one. I'm not 100% sure. So go to the market or maybe the tavern. We're going to check both of them just in case. So what do we have here? Still uh, no, uh, no rare gear. There you go. You can buy from here uh, again uh, two pieces from um, each one of the... The items, which is good, because we have better chances to get uh, some better gloves, uh, better substats. I know getting crit rate on the substats is not going to be the most important thing at the moment, because you just want to have some better gear. But I'm going to go and purchase basically every single uh, piece. This vendor is more expensive than the other, you know. So uh, uh, while I do think that uh, you need to preserve your, uh, 
uh, preserve your uh, gold early on it's still very important to get the gear to be able to uh, advance your uh, your account you know power up your account so that's one then if we're gonna come all the way right here to uh, lalvano we're gonna be able to get some more red gear from here too so let's head into the into town let's head into town go to the market we might have to visit the brothel maybe or uh who knows uh <laughs> maybe the tavern still can we steal from you no we're gonna have to trade with you as well right okay so maybe we're, we're not getting a gear from this one maybe it's a different one or maybe they changed it maybe they removed it this was definitely one of the locations as well so wait we just went to the market uh let's go to the tavern can we interact with anyone here trade okay still okay so it seems like maybe they changed whatever we had here maybe they changed it and we don't have it anymore uh, or maybe i remember it uh wrong hmm strange okay so this is not uh not on anymore i'm pretty convinced that it was though i'm pretty convinced that this was a different uh, location i know for a fact there were five and uh this was one of them so i'm not sure exactly why it's not there anymore but either way we're gonna head over to the next location right here and this time around you don't have to go in uh in the town you're gonna have to follow this crimson crown aid and you're gonna be able to trade uh red gear and epic here now it is a bit more costly uh i'm gonna be uh left out of uh out with no gold from here but that's fine i'm gonna purchase a bit of gold quick you do want to get the, uh, the guardian set as well guys because that's very good for uh for the support characters early on so what i'm quickly gonna do to gain some gold uh, i could either go and farm some goblin but basically i don't want to waste my stamina i want to maximize that so instead i'm gonna go to the seasonal shop and i'm gonna purchase a bit of uh, a bit of silver i don't want to go crazy with these things i already purchased my goodies but I will waste uh, probably, let's just say, 200 uh, uh, sand core to get, uh, to get some gold, you know? This gold should uh, sort me out and allow me to purchase all of the gear that I need to. So let's get the rest of the pieces as well, because you can get quite a few of them from here too. So this will be more important on the support characters. I like that the game gives you the option to uh, purchase rare and epic gear early on, uh, before the dungeons are even unlocking, or before the forge. Uh, is uh, upgraded you know because you're just gonna be able to basically push slightly higher on uh on your dungeons especially in the goblin and the domains that's what matters then right here guys at terminus you're gonna be able to get more of it you know so uh from here i think uh you need to steal it i think from here you need to steal it if i'm not mistaken from the Cri crimson crown uh, investigator so steal yes epic gear you steal it from here uh no no don't do, don't do that to me don't do that to me oh no we're gonna have to come back we're gonna have to come back because we we got caught <laughs> yes i did let me just pay the pay the gold and let's see if i can try to steal it i cannot steal today again so i'm gonna have to come back to it but this right here is a different one that will allow you to steal the epic gear you cannot purchase you can just steal it from here so this is a different set so you can get Four pieces of epic gear early on. Of course, is RNG depending on what you are getting uh, on your characters. Let me just see what I got for uh, for mine actually. So uh, we got flat attack with crit rate. I'm definitely taking that all the way to level 16. No questions asked. We got crit damage on it too. Beautiful. So replace that, and we had what a weapon. We got attack. That's that's good. That's good enough. So we got a crit rate, double roll on crit rate too. Beautiful start. And right here I have some amazing crit damage gloves. I don't think I had any crit rate just yet. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I do have crit rate with crit damage. There we go, even better. So just like that, I powered up my character, guys. Look at that. I already have 50% crit rate day one. And I have 1k attack. And I haven't even ranked my character to uh, rank two. I'm definitely going to do that later. I already have a couple of pieces with crit rate. That I'm gonna basically try to level up. Let's see. Crit rate, crit damage, accuracy. Uh, okay, we'll take that. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. So we have good uh, crit rate, good crit damage, decent attack. Once we're gonna rank the character up, uh, we're gonna gain some additional stats. But that's the best way to power up your characters in Dragon and Silent Gods in day one, guys. This works for season two, for season three, for season four. So regardless 
of what season you guys might be in or uh, heading into, you're going to be able to use this method to put your hand on some better gear early on. Thanks again to Dragonair for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys want to get involved, you can download the game by using the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or scan the QR code you see on the screen. As usual, guys, appreciate every single one of you guys that are watching till the end. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.